Hello, everybody. I would like today to give you um, some tips and tricks about how to search for classified content based on classification attributes. Uh, one of the great value of classification tool is to leverage the, pre the investment previously made in your company's IP and maximize reuse. But now, how can you uh, eventually benefit from the work done by Librarian? Um, and search for this IP and use it when needed. So first thing you can do, uh, you can easily navigate through the classification taxonomy with a graphical tree-based browser as you walk through the um, hierarchy, the classified components for the selected level on the left side um, are listed along with the relevant classification attributes on the right side of the screen. This is available to you with the IP Classify and Reuse application, which is a dashboard uh, application um, coming with the um, uh, collaborative industry innovator role that everybody gets. Now, if uh, the list uh, is too long and you want to, to search for specific component based on some uh, uh, criteria or classification attributes, um, to do that, you can um, enter the search syntax manually into the search within tool available in the toolbar of the IP Classify and Reuse application. Here you can see some sample queries to search for items with classification attributes. Um, you can note that the syntax is quite the same. Um, we have the classification attribute name, then we are using the query operator, for example, equal, and then we have the value to query, and we can use also units. If you want to, uh, to use units, you can enter the units along with the value enclosed in double quotes. So, um, uh, and you can search based on, uh, on different units. The system will automatically convert the entered search criteria values to the um, unit stored in the database. So I mentioned that double quotes are needed in case there is uh, a, a space in the, uh, in the value. Um, and, uh, and or logical expressions are supported as well as asterisk and question mark, pretty much similar to, uh, um, to the expression we are using in the global search. Um, be noted that you can search for a, a, and uh, filter based on classification um, I, um, attributes only if the attributes uh, were previously indexed. Now, while performing a search, either if it is a global search or if it is a search within, um, you get your search results um, and you can refine the search results with uh, the, the 6W tag. Uh, first, you may see uh, in the 6W tags, um, you can see the list of libraries and the list of classes uh, the items are associated with. Uh, including the number of items for each class and library. Uh, for example, I searched for a school. Uh, in this example, I used the global search. I got uh, 162 uh, results, and you can see that three uh, items out of the 162 belong to mechanical uh, component library. In addition to that, if predicate uh, was defined for the classification attribute, it will be used here to expose this classification attribute in the 6W tag. And you can um, use it to refine your search results. For example, in this example, um, the screw head type attribute uh, was set uh, with a predicate. And uh, we can continue and refine the search results based on that, uh, on that attribute. Uh, for example, uh, show me only the uh, screws with the um, around head type. So let's see how does that look in the system via a short video. Uh, I'm using here a notepad just for the purposes of the demo, uh, including few uh, query examples, which I will uh, copy paste into the search within field instead of typing. Um, in the, I'm standing on the ball class, and you can note it uh, contains five classified ball valves. Um, the first query will um, narrow down the uh, list of 
uh, the, the list of uh, ball valves and display only items uh, with uh, valve material equal to carbon steel. And you can note that I have three made of carbon steel. The second example I'm uh, using here asterisk and in this case the search result will display all items um, for which the ball material contains steel at the end. So you can see that we have uh, four uh, results including cast steel, uh, stainless steel, carbon steel, um, you may note that the um, temperature value uh, are defined with Celsius degree, but the third query is searching for items with minimum temperature bigger or equal to 4 Fahrenheit degree. Therefore, um, the system in this case automatically converts the entered search criteria values and because minus 4 Fahrenheit degrees equal to minus 20 Celsius degree, you would see only items with minimum temperature bigger or equal to minus 20 um, Celsius degrees. Um, and we have um, three results uh, relevant. Last sample is to demonstrate uh, the use of logical ex expression. In this case, I'm using the AND. Uh, which allows me to search within a certain range of values. The search uh, within works at any level in the classification hierarchy. So I'm standing now on the valves class and search for all valves associated to any subclass below the valves class, which, uh, which are made of bronze. And I found few um, results. And now, as explained previously, um, I can use the 6W tagger to refine the search results. So you can see here the uh, number of items associated with uh, each library and each class. And in this case, um, the uh, type of operation attribute uh, is exposed also in the 6W tag. Uh, thanks to the predicate which was defined on that attribute. So I can uh, refine the search results to display only items uh, with a hydraulic operation. In this case we found only one and now I can easily use this, uh, this item. I can drag and drop it for example to, uh, to the engineering release application in order to use it in my engineering definition. I hope you find this information useful to you. Thank you for listening.